horror fans question is what is your favorite horror movie of all time I don't really have I guess a favorite horror movie because I think in my send my ungoth confessions I'm not super into horror movies but I guess one of them would have to be I don't even know if it's horror it's like cheesy is uh killer clowns from outer space I just think that movie is so funny I don't know what it is I mean it's obviously scary because they're killing people but I just like the way that they look and then they get like mad and I don't know I just think it's funny and I don't know so probably that movie would be it, be it. Freddie Debs question is in your neighborhood do kids around the, the <laughs> there consider you to be a witch sexy witch of witch of course uh it kind of seems like you're in the country I'm thinking hocus pocus lol um I know I've had like I don't even not so much the kids because there aren't like too many kids in my neighborhood but I know that the neighbors are like when they hear me blare my music or fry, they see me out looking like this. I think they're probably like, oh God. But then they also see me when I'm like in my pajamas getting the mail with no makeup on. So they, I don't know what they think of me. Um, children, I, uh, when I go out to like the grocery store or just shopping and stuff are always like, they stare and then they like whisper to their parents. I think like, what is wrong with her? Or look at that lady or something like that. And... What I find strange is when I'm not even wearing any makeup and when I'm not dressed up, kids do that anyways. And I don't know why. Like, I don't look that abnormal without makeup on. So I don't know why they uh, they stare at me anyways. But when they do, I'm just kind of, I kind of like, well, I tend to give them a dirty look back. I don't know. I'm horrible. I'll just kind of be like, or I'll stick my tongue out at them or something like that. I don't know. But, more, but now when I, that I've become a mother, I've kind of stopped... Um, doing that because I don't want <laughs> I don't know I don't want to be a bad influence on my child to like stick their tongue out at uh, strange people I guess but mm, I don't know if they don't think that I'm a witch or anything like that I think they just think that I'm odd and and different Midnight Witch her question is which artist changed your life slash feel like you can relate to most Artist as far as like a music artist or artist as far as like anybody that's taken on a, I don't know, some sort of like persona or actor or actress, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Who has influenced me the most? That's like, this is like a tricky, or that I can relate to the most. I don't know because I don't personally know these people. So I don't think that I can compare myself to them or say that I relate to this person or relate to that person. I mean, I obviously take my makeup, like looks and things like that and the way I dress from like, you know, maybe like different things I see posted online, like Instagram or Pinterest or something like that. And, you know, we have like those people that we idol the most, like either in TV or in music or every everyday like life, I guess. I don't know, obviously I love Elvira. Um, Vampira, Lily Munster, Morticia Adams, like music people. Um, I don't listen to a lot of like female musicians that I could take that I would say I, would, I would, could relate to, like the way that I look. Maybe um, Susie Sue. I like the I like you know like her aesthetic. Sorry, I wish I could answer it better. Yeah, I don't know something that I can relate to. I don't, I'm not really too sure. Alexis Tarleton, who was the winner of the contest, asks, Now that you are a goth mom, have you had any negative encounters while being out with your child? And if so, do you experience it more so now that you are a mom? Or was it about the same as you had before your son? Um, no, I haven't really experienced any type of really negative. Like I said, like people will just kind of look at me, but nobody's ever said anything bad to me. I maybe think behind, like I'm thinking in my mind, like, oh, they probably think that, like I said, like I'm a bad mom because of the way that I look, but nobody has actually come up to me and said anything to me, no. Mystery McCarthy. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was little, I wanted to be a veterinarian. I just was really into animals and it was just something that in my mind that I always wanted to do, but I don't know, what I think that it was just like, that's just, too much like you have to like do all those surgeries and putting animals to sleep and things like that and I was like I don't want to I don't want to do that 
So I strayed away from that and um, I decided I didn't, want, I didn't want to be a vet anymore when I was a little kid. I don't think I really changed my mind into like what else I wanted to be. I just knew I didn't want to do that anymore. Sierra Stanfield asks, what is your favorite tattoo that you got done? My favorite one would probably be the tree that I have on my arm. Um, I'm going to have to take my clothes off, I guess. Taking my clothes off, people. It's this one. I'm sure you guys have seen it. And this is a cover-up. Like I said, I had something before, and the guy free-handed the tattoo on my arm. Um, I think he did a really good job. So, yeah, that would probably be my favorite tattoo that I have. Kim Richards Gilchrist? His question is, were you a tomboy as a kid? No, I wasn't a tomboy. I liked girly things. I liked Barbies. I liked having tea sets and playing, like, tea time and things like that. I loved uh, decorating my room in, like, a little mermaid. No, I wasn't a tomboy at all. Kim Crawley asks, would you, have you ever considered getting more tattoos? And I've already answered this, uh, not really, no. I just don't have anything that I really want to get, and it hasn't been, like, a thought in my mind anytime soon. Okay, what is this? Crago waffles? Oh, like, Ego waffles? This question is, what is one music album's album that changed your life? Um, I would have to say... <sighs> I know it's going to sound like cheesy because a lot of people don't like this album, but probably Metallica, the Black album, because that's when I really got in... That was like probably like the first metal that I actually heard was Metallica. That album came out like in... Was it 91? Um, when I was in school, and that's was introduced to me by somebody and I was like oh wow this is awesome because before that I did not listen to that type of music I listened to like you know top 40 whatever was on the radio New Kids on the Block Debbie Gibson and things like that so yeah I would say that changed my life and turned me on to the metal scene Jeff Ward his question is where did you get your supplies from as far as my soaps molds especially um a lot of times I buy my supplies off Amazon as far as the oils that I use because it's cheaper fragrance oils those are tough to get because they're really expensive and that's what drives the cost up of a bar of soap is the fragrance oil because they're a ton of money and you know if you try to purchase them from uh other sites that just you know have fragrance oils you're paying you're gonna pay a ton for shipping on top of that so i have amazon prime so a lot of times i try to get the fragrance oils from um amazon if i can find anything that's good quality my molds have gotten some off of there and actually my husband bought me a bunch of my spooky molds for christmas one year and i'm really not sure where he got them uh tama razvan his question is which metal mascot do you think is the greatest all genres and i suppose you like typo negative any favorite album um which metal mascot is the greatest I don't know like a mascot do you mean like Eddie from like Iron Maiden like is that the, I guess that's the their band's mascot I think he's pretty cool and then uh what's the person the guy's name from like Megadeth I'm not sure that's like another skeleton person isn't it I'm not sure so I don't really know how to answer this question because I don't know if that's what you necessarily mean so I'm gonna either have to go with like Eddie from uh Iron Maiden or um, the guy from Megadeth whose name I don't know. And I do love Typo Negative and my favorite album by them is October Rust. Brian Wagner's question is, what is the next concert you're going to attend? Uh, well, I just went to Cradle of Filth, but the next one that's coming up that I know of, I forget if it's, they're in the same month in September, it's either Halloween or Ozzy's last tour. I forget which one's closer. So yeah, either Halloween or Ozzy. I'm not sure which one it is. Ina Ox Camellius. My question is, because you don't say much about it, what was your wedding like? Um, I guess I don't talk a lot about my wedding or my husband, which a lot of people know is because he does not like the internet. He doesn't like social media, like any, that's the internet I mean, like not actually like being able to Google anything, but he doesn't like social media. And I don't particularly talk about him is because maybe I feel like he doesn't want me to. I don't know. I just never really, I just kind of shied away from that. But that's probably a reason why I've never talked about my wedding. But my wedding was in 2010. And it was themed like 
dark purple and like that's what the bridesmaids dresses were they were a dark purple color um i had a big like i had a like a uh, white color dress and it was big and poofy on the bottom uh we had a ton of people because i come from a big italian family so we had about like 220 people um i had a lot of like feathers in my theme like black and purple feathers um my i had like little pitch black like gothic looking picture frames were the um favor as well as a, a wine bottle stopper with like a fleur de lis top on it um i don't know it was a good time i guess um it was i guess a time in my life when a lot of shit went down um maybe that's why i don't talk about it because there was a lot of um, fighting going on amongst the family and people weren't getting along and not talking to one another and that i feel like that's what weddings do they bring on like shit. like i don't know what it is it's just like i guess it's all the stress and the tension and everything like that from for planning and dealing with different people but yeah it was not like the greatest of time for me when i got married uh there was just a lot of crap going on so it really went by in a blur for me that night and i guess most weddings do for people but besides that some fun aspects where we had karaoke and me and my husband sang angel by aerosmith and then other people were you know allowed to go up and sing whatever they wanted for karaoke songs um we had a purple cake the song that we danced to for our first slow song was um as the world falls down from the labyrinth soundtrack sung by david bowie so yeah maybe like an i'll insert a picture here of uh, me and my husband from the wedding john wright asks favorite bands slash songs so my favorite bands i've known i've said this to you guys before i love 80s bands like um la guns molly crew kicks cinderella I love metal stuff like Metallica, Megadeth, Typo Negative, Queensryche, uh, The Misfits, goth stuff like Suzy Sue, The Cure, The Mission. Uh, so it's like I like all different types of music, like all different types of genres of music. So I really couldn't pick my favorite. I listen to like weird alternative country music like 16 Horsepower, The Old 97s, Whiskey Town, things like that. And yeah i don't think i could really pick any type of like favorite song from any of those bands because there's just so many good ones ninai lamir this question is is there anything media music scene etc available to more modern goths that you wish were around when you were younger um i guess it's easier to get cds now and you know um if you want um buy certain outfits things that you want offline like everything's online like now i go on amazon prime and i buy cds where before it's like you could go to the local music store like we had strawberries and newberry comics and like they might have something you wanted they might not so that was a bummer and uh you know getting concert tickets you had to go to the store and purchase your concert tickets you couldn't go online and get them uh and then clothes and things like that like i was always you know like bummed because i'm like oh i want this certain outfit like i know it in my head but i can't find anything like it so like that's where like they say like goths back in the day like they would do like a lot of diys and, and they do and, and i'm sure a lot of them do now but it's easier just to buy crap offline and like i'll admit it like yeah i buy stuff offline because i'm too lazy to make it myself or i just don't have the time um with everything that's going on in my life so I guess like now you just have better access to the, the exact things that you want instead of making yourself if you just go online. Wow, this is a long ass video. <laughs> Definitely two parts, maybe three. Master D. James LaHood. Hi, I know who you are. This question is, have you worn fangs and are uh, all the fake, like the lenses in life like daily? No, I had like the fangs that you could like mold to your teeth that we bought at Hot Topic. And I think I wore them to like the goth club or like out to like concerts or something. But I've never uh, worn the lenses because my eyes are so sensitive. I can't even wear like regular lenses just to, you know, contact lenses to see. So I wasn't even going to mess with colored contacts. Bonus question. How do people react to your appearance? Like strangers. Like I said before, they're just kind of like stare or they're just kind of like, 
you know, because they're not used to it. Chrissy Brewer's question is, Morticia, Lily, or Vampira? Um, Morticia Adams, I'd have to say, because, I don't know, a lot of people say that I look like the Morticia from the Adams Family with Angelica Houston, which I think is a huge compliment. Lacey Little Ghost's question is, which five bands, artists, have influenced you most over your life? Oh, this is tough. Um, I don't know, influence as far as like the, my appearance and like things like that, like, <sighs> or influenced me like emotionally. Okay, emotionally influenced me, I'm gonna say 16 horsepower, which is not like a, they're alternative gothic country music and their lyrics are just so deep. I don't know, you have to listen to them. If you never have, you need to check them out. Like I would remember I would just like lay in bed and just like listen to it and the words and the things that he said were just, they just the way he like phrased things would just blow my mind. Um, also The Cure, I don't know. I think they're just, their lyrics are just, either they're like sad and depressing or they're about love and like the, the you know, like connection you have to another person. Um, Metallica, because like I said, they're the ones that got me into the metal music scene. Um, typo negative because same as them. I just feel like their lyrics are very emotional and a lot of times they're about like romantic things, which I'm a sucker for. And I just feel like they were so unique and nobody was like them and they kind of had that gothic style to them. And then lastly, I don't know, maybe Cinderella because they're like, they have like that 80s sound, but they're just like, the singer's just really talented, really unique. And like he influenced me because I guess like in a kind of weird way, because my husband sang that one of his songs, one of the Cinderella songs to me at karaoke. And that kind of like reeled me in. And I was like, okay, I'll go out with you. <laughs> Caitlin McDonald's question is, are you going to do a meet and greet at any point soon? Nah, I've never even thought about that because I feel like who really wants to meet me? Like, I'm not that great. I'm not that cool. I'm not that important. So I've never really even thought about that. And I don't know if my anxiety could handle it. I think I might just have like a meltdown. Like, oh my God, real people in real life. But I mean, it would be cool to do something like that and meet you guys. I don't know like where I would even plan something like that. I'm in Massachusetts. I don't even know how many people are like around this area. So I really don't have a good answer for that question. And then what's your favorite song right now? I guess because I just recently picked up the Greatest Hist album by The Mission, the song Wasteland. That song, I guess, has just been running in my head all the time. So yeah, I would say that one's my favorite right now. All right, now these are the questions that are from Instagram. So there's only a few more to go, guys, if you're getting bored over there. It's too much Midnight Owl information. And Lexi Strange, so her name, she's the one that won. So I guess this is her name on Instagram, Alexis. After having your son and with your health issues, do you and your husband plan to try for any more children or is one enough? I would like another child just because I think it's nice for kids to grow up with a sibling and I feel like it just teaches them a lot more and they have somebody that's always there for them. Like I grew up, I had an older sister. My husband had nobody and he had like nobody close to him that little to play with, like his own age. I just feel like that's sad and I think that like it's almost like two different life ways that you grow up, like ways of life. Like, I think it's hard for him, like not to be a dick, but I feel like it's hard for him to compromise because he never learned that because it was always his way as a child because he was the only one. Whereas if you have a sibling, it teaches you how to share and to compromise. So yeah, I think it would be nice to have another one, uh, especially if I want a, a little girl so I could dress her up all spooky. And um, because of my health, um, I was afraid at first to have my son because of my health, but the doctors reassured me it would be okay. Um, and my only concern now is my age because I'm 38 and I want to wait a couple years to have another child so I can enjoy a few years with my son, just him and us. So that's just really something to think about. Like when I turn 40, do I want to have another child? Yes, I would like to. Is it like the smartest thing to do at that age? I don't know. We'll have to see. Mysterious dark art. This bonus question is, 
If you could suddenly go right now and be anywhere in the world, where would that be? I want to go to England. I just want to go so badly. I've never been there before. I want to visit there. I just, I love British TV shows. Anytime I like period piece or anything like that, their, the food, like I know people say like British food is gross, but like I just ordered like British food off of like a website recent, recently. I ordered pork pies and like scotch eggs and like sticky toffee pudding. So I don't know, I just have an obsession with it and I really want to go there before I die. Serena, Serena 80s, my girl asks, what character would you be in Labyrinth? Me, I'd be Sarah. I can relate to her story. Um, I don't know who I would be. I don't know, maybe Sir Didymus. I would like to like think that I'm like ready for battle and I'm like guarding the bridge and nobody shall pass without my permission. Six, sixth Ward Haunt. Bonus question is, my daughter would like to know what your, what makeup brands you, do you use? So I use a ton of different things. I use a lot of Kat Von D. I love her Locket foundation and the Locket concealer. I have a couple of her eyeshadow palettes, the Metal Matte eyeshadow palette, which I'm wearing some of that today. Um, for my eyebrows, I use Anastasia. For face powder, sometimes I use um, like a MAC Max powder when I do like the darker foundation, like a little like warmer tone foundation for like the cooler tones, like whiter, paler like this. I use the Manic Panic Pressed White uh, powder. Lipstick, I love the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lip Colors. I use those. I use um, some NYX. I have Urban Decay. I have like a ton of like stuff, but I always tend to buy like the better brand stuff instead of the drugstore brand items because I just feel like they, it does make a difference and I feel like it does look better. Creepy Corner 13. Who is your favorite Disney villain and why? That would have to be Maleficent. And you don't have to ask why, just look at her. She's awesome. Just like everything about her, like she's just like that face with those like high cheek chiseled cheekbones and she's got like that, those like horn things and she's just so evil and beautiful. I love her. The Midnight Craft is, uh, bonus question is, do you prefer Facebook or Instagram? I prefer Instagram. I just use Instagram for like, you know, you, my YouTube stuff and, um, you know, like for music and um, like artistic inspiration. Whereas Facebook, I have it, but I don't make it publicly known because it's just for, for family stuff. Like it, it's private. It's mostly where I post stuff about my family and like my son because I know a lot of people don't like to see all that stuff on Instagram. Like another picture of her kid. Like a lot of people hate that. Like I kind of hate that too when people do that. It's like, all right, we know your kid is cute, stop. So I'm mostly Instagram because that's like more about just me, myself, and I. Kim Richards, 5576, bonus question. What is your greatest strength and biggest fear? I don't know, this is like so hard. I think I'm very like, dependable like you can like people can just depend on me like my friends and things like that if they ever needed anything i would totally be there for them um my greatest weakness i guess would be my suffering with anxiety and you know having the social anxiety being able to go out and be out in the world and deal with big crowds and things like that that's like my biggest weakness radically dark's bonus question is what is your favorite item of clothing like i said i don't have one i just wear like I don't know, leggings. I love my labyrinth leggings. I like my Halloween leggings. Um, I don't know. Probably leggings because I wear them all the time now. Abigail Von Dahl's bonus question is, why is Melissa your favorite villain? Like I said, she's just awesome. How can you not love her? Like the way that she looks and everything, go on about her. She's where it's at. Um, Chrysalis. 0374, what is your favorite horror movie? I already answered this. Probably Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I don't know if I have another one besides that. Um, like, would you consider, like, Evil Dead in those movies, horror movies? They're more, like, funny than anything, I think. And... I don't know, is Dracula considered horror? No, that's just, like, I don't know, scary, but I like the, the Dracula movies and... I don't know, like, real gory horror. Like I said, I don't really watch that stuff, so I don't really have one. I mean, like, I like the Friday the 13th movies. I like the Halloween movies and things like that. But I couldn't really just pick one favorite. Lacuna 
Sierra777, what is your favorite song to listen to when you're sad? Um, probably something by The Cure. Um, I don't have any particular, like, one song that I go to and play. But I like listening to that. And you'd think it'd be, like, the opposite. I want to listen to something happy when I'm sad, but I don't. The Cure is just kind of, like, mellow. And I'm like, yeah, this is sad. And this is making me feel like I'm not alone. And another band would be um, Enigma, which is like ambient music, I guess you could say. I don't know why, I would just always listen to them when I'm like in a mood. Like if I'm in like an upset mood or sad, I just listen to them and they kind of mellow, you, mellow me out. I don't know what it is about them, they're awesome. So if you've never heard Enigma, then I highly recommend you check them out. Wow, that's it guys, that was a ton of questions. Thank you guys so much for listening to me talking about myself for the past, I don't even know what was that like an hour it feels like my throat is hoarse and uh i'm hungry and i'm thirsty so that's the end of that but thank you guys so much for all the questions and i hope you enjoy this i hope i answered them good enough for you guys and maybe i'll do a q a in the future if you guys would like me to so yeah that's it for me today guys like always stay dark and as the wizard from willow would do Bye. Follow the river.